Have you ever spent a day frolicking down the avenues of a favorite major city, taking in the sights and the smells, and then blowing your nose? Did you discover that your diesel passages hawked up a plug of soot-colored snot? Big deal, you may think. This stuff is in a living, breathing organism that'll take over my body and putrefy my internal organs. True, but the grime coating cities isn't passive. It's belching back at us, and it isn't pretty. James Donaldson, a chemistry professor at the University of Toronto, led his research team to conclude that when sunlight directly hits grime, it can re-release nitrogen oxide gases back into the urban atmosphere, specifically nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen acid. That's a big deal because nitrogen acid in particular is known to be a key element in smog, and the more smog, the more pollution is held hostage in a cloud looming over a city and affecting its air quality. Donaldson conducted tests in the lab and then took his research into the field in Leipzig, Germany, where he placed two large trays of glass beads on a tower high above the city. For six weeks, each tray withstood the same airflow and both were equally filthy from pollution, but only one tray was placed in the sun. The team saw the same result in the field that they observed in the lab. When sediment pollution is exposed to sunlight, it causes the loss of nitrogen oxide gases, the burping, if you will, of the grime back into the city. This finding is important because it shows a direct cause and effect between existing pollution and the environment. Moreover, with the atmosphere heating up, we'll be subject to more and more danger days. These are rare days when humidity and heat combine to create a heat index of 105 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, and besides making the outdoors sort of unbearable and miserable, these conditions are extremely hazardous for people sensitive to heat, like children and the elderly, as well as those with respiratory ailments or heart conditions. According to Climate Central, since 1950, only 12 U.S. cities averaged more than one danger day a year, but by 2030, they predict that 85 cities, home to a third of the population, will experience 20 danger days a year. Yeah, 2030 is going to be breathtaking, literally. All right, let's all take a collective breath. And if you found this video a breath of fresh air, make sure to like us here, subscribe, and check back later for more How Stuff Works Now.